transfer left. Cancel. Completed. Hello, this is the Edit Hammer, and welcome back to Star Citizen. So today I thought I'd go through and show you a little program I found called Voice Tech, which uses your voice to control your computer. This makes it so you don't have to take your hand off your keyboard or mouse to run a macro. Now you can drop your landing gear without even pulling your hand off your throttle. What makes this program really handy is you can use mouse movements also. Um, so it gets past that little inventory problem that we have with Star Citizen. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how I set them up and you can modify it from there. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to voiceattack.com. That's the program name, so we're going to go to voiceattack.com. I'm going to show you this screen and you want to go to download. And you want to download uh, voice attack version blah 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 um, I think there's a 32-bit version if you go th through here down here so you download and install the program okay once you're done installing the program you're gonna come up with this screen once you run it and I think it's gonna have a default profile of tutorial I'm not sure what it actually says but um, if you want to try it out and uh, before you buy then let's turn that off let's turn that off then uh, you only get one profile and 20 commands I believe it is so you'll have to do it within this tutorial um, uh, the tutorial comes with the command so you might have to delete a few but it's fairly simple to do most of them are key keystroke commands so if you can if you if you've paid for it it's only nine dollars so it's pretty easy to pay for. We're going to go to create new profile. We're just going to name this test. All right, so there's our new profile. Zero commands here. No commands for this profile. So we're going to add a new command. We're going to name it uh, transfer le uh, transfer right. So we're going to go from the left to the right. So when I say transfer right, it's going to run this command. So on our mouse, we want to go to mouse click. We want to hold the left button down, like we're picking it up and moving it, dragging it over. Hold left button down. We go to mouse. We're going to move. We're going to move right. Now here's where it gets funky. My computer screen, when I move right, I've got it set to 875 pixels. Yours might be different. Some of them are lower, some are a little bit higher. But that's what I use. Um, but don't use pixels. This move using relative data, useful for 3D games, is just going to move, 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 move. If you use pixels, it's going to end up all crazy all over the screen. I don't know why, but if you click that, then you should be okay. So here's 875 Mickeys. We're moving right. Once we get there, we want to mouse click and release the left button like we're picking it up moving it over letting it go and dropping it in another box which is exactly what we're doing so once we do that we want to move it back to the beginning to do it all over again so we're going to want to go to mouse move we're going to move left and we moved 875 we want to click this uh, relative data so we have mickeys like I said, it won't work properly if you don't. Now, the number one thing you need to learn, not learn, but know not to do, is make sure this box is checked. Allow other commands to execute while this one is running. If you don't, you can't stop it. Then you've got to be able to close the program while it's running. And if the mouse is moving back and forth, it's really hard to move the mouse to close programs. Um, even Alt-4 or anything like that is really hard. So make sure that is clicked. Uh, we don't want to execute only once. We want to keep going until we're done. So we're going to go to stop. <laughs> um, so we click OK. There's our first command. Don't use that command yet. 
The next command we're going to write is called cancel. And all this is going to do is stop that command. So we're going to go to other. We're going to voice attack action. Go up here to stop processing all commands. And basically all that's going to do is going to say stop running transfer write. It's going to stop and you'll be good to go. We're only going to need to do that one time. So let's make sure we're all good here. We're holding it down, removing it, letting it go, moving it back. Uh, make sure allow other commands to execute why this one is running. It's clicked. And we're going to repeat until, we're until we tell it to stop. And then our cancel, when we say cancel, it's just going to stop it processing. We only need to run that one time. Um, this is good if you just keep that clicked all the time. So we're going to go to done. Now let's open up Star Citizen and see how it works. OK, so we've got Star Citizen open. And what we did is we moved a bunch of stuff to our backpack. A uh, bunch of food items. It's, it doesn't matter what you got here, but you can run this from any local inventory, from like a station or a uh, delivery location, your ship inventory. Just make sure you have the right one clicked. Now, something that makes it a little bit easier is we're going to move it from our backpack to Bajini Point, or however you say that. I can never see that word. Um, but there's a bunch of stuff in the way. So the easiest thing to do is find a a block or a filter you don't have anything in I've sold all my clothing so there's nothing here this one is sustenance I mean you can move basically anything as long as it's in your backpack or in that inventory you want to move from another thing you need to learn is you've got this filters tab with the filters underneath it so if you have like this you're gonna pick this up and you're gonna drop it on the filters so if these filters are open these filters have to be open we're going to go ahead and close them both. We're going to go over here and highlight that square right there. And then we're going to try the command. Transfer right. Transfer right. Maybe I did it wrong. Transfer right. No, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's clicked. That's why it's not working. It's not listening. Can open that again. Go over here to highlight it and say transfer right. It's moving everything over. Cancel. And it's canceled. Pretty simple and easy. I'll let you know what you're doing there. Now there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with voice attack. You can run windows with it. You can um, do a lot of different commands, subcommands, prefixes, and suffixes. It's all up to you on how you want to do that. But this is a pretty simple command, straightforward on how to run the inventory. So here's everything that we just dropped in into our local station account uh, inventory. So I'm ho hoping that you got some good information out of this and you're able to use voice attack and love it as much as I do. So I'll see you next time.